Uh, Hugh Evans, uh, you are the founder of something called uh, Global Citizen, okay? Yes, that's right. And um, you have an amazingly, what's been called an insanely optimistic goal. And tell the people what it is. Well, our goal is that we really believe that we could be the first generation to end extreme poverty within our lifetime. Okay, and what's, what's your date? Uh, <laughs> it does seem crazy. It seems like a great. Well, there is so yeah. much poverty on the world, and the poor have been, you know, have been with humanity since the beginning of time. That really does seem like kind of a crazy thing that you think is within <laughs> reach of humanity. What's the date you want to do it by? We want to do it by 2030. And uh, the good news and is. And global poverty by 2030. Forever by 2030. Okay. And yeah. we're talking the, the, about the, the, the sort of useless suffering where a child would die for a lack of a 30 cent immunization. That's what we're focused on. Yeah. Well, that, that is uh, incredibly refreshing. Just to meet someone who thinks that there's going to be a world in 2030. Because <laughs> you know Donald Trump is leading in the polls, right? I heard so. You heard that. I okay. heard it, yeah. Um, uh, now, uh, Hugh Jackman, right? Hugh yeah. Jackman. Hugh, hi, how are you? How did you get involved in this? I understand that uh, Hugh Evans like pitched you this idea. What was his pitch to you no. to get involved? Because his pitch to me was, I get to meet Hugh Jackman. Oh. <laughs> so, he told me I get to be on the Stephen Colbert show, and I'm like, I'm in. Come on! <laughs> work. I actually, I was, at a comp I was at a conference in Australia. It was the 2020 conference. It was back in 2008, yeah. and our Prime Minister brought together a thousand Aussies to try and work out what we wanted the country to look like 12 years from then. So at the drinks that first night, I looked over in the corner. There was a guy in a black suit and a white shirt, and I presumed it was the waiter. You were about 12 at the time. <laughs> and I looked over, I was like, hey. And he goes, hey. And I went over and said, can I grab a drink? He goes, sure, what do you want? And I said, oh, I don't know, like gin and tonic? He goes, yeah, I'll get you gin. And he came over and he had two gin and tonics. I said, I oh, just one. He goes, no, one for you, one for me. And I'm like, okay. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Fine, we got, anyway, I, I can't he went being that forward. No, yeah. but he went, he went and got me a drink. He actually was one of the delegates. He was the Young Australian of the Year. I was so embarrassed. Like, I asked him to get me a drink. But that's a great plan. That's a great plan for uh, uh, trying to uh, start a global movement is first you get celebrities drunk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then in extreme the poverty. It wasn't the strategy. No, well, but then three out. hours later, I was, we were still talking. And, and that's when I realized that, of course, like most people in the world, we want to see an end to extreme poverty. But any any idea I had was kind of redundant enough to talking to Hugh, and I just said, "Listen, Hugh, I just want to jump on board. Whatever you're doing, I'm in, and this is it." So, is there uh, something? Is there something special? You guys are both from Australia. Is there something special about Australians that they want to save the world? Because I recently saw this documentary, Mad Max Fury Road. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that documentary? Is that is that is that is that, uh, is that a future like you're that. trying yeah. to avoid? Absolutely. That is Australia right now. Right? Is it really? <laughs> yes. Um, well. Let's talk about how people get involved in Global Citizen. Um, you can't buy tickets to this right. festival that we're co-hosting on Saturday with, uh, by the way, uh, Salma Hayek, Pinot, Kerry Washington, Olivia Wilde, with the performances by Pearl Jam, Beyonce, Ed Sheeran, and Coldplay. Yep. As I said, 60,000 people. 60,000 people. Yeah. What, have peop what have people had to do in order to get tickets to this thing? Well, the way it works is that you can't buy your way in. You have to take action on globalcitizen.org, become a global citizen, and then start taking action on an issue that you're passionate about. So, for example, a few weeks ago, when you called out global citizens to tweet the Prime Minister of Norway... Yeah, my uh, issue was girls' education around the world. Absolutely. And we know that Norway has historically been a leader on girls' education. And so, thank you for leading the invasion of Norway through Twitter. <laughs> yes. and, uh, I did. And we got 153,000 tweets at the Prime Minister of Norway. Right. Yeah. And she is now... Well, responded. She, well, she, she got so overwhelmed by the tweet, she said, come to Oslo, meet with us. We met with her, we sat down, and she said, when will the Twitter campaign stop? I'm coming to the festival. Yeah. And so, uh, and so it worked, so thank you. And they've now committed $100 million a year for the next five years to girls' education around That's the world. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay. and then